What's up, guys? Tim Halstow at Drag Boss Raj. I just wanted to share this little family trip we took. You might find it interesting. But we rode that boat. There's three of them. They're called the Jet Express, powered by twin 1500 horsepower turbo diesel engines. So we traveled to Putin Bay. It's an island on Lake Erie. There are several islands associated with it. It's also known as South Bass Island. We love to go there as a family. The significance is it was a home base during the War of 1812. That's Oliver Hazard Perry. He was a naval officer, and he was engaged with the British. And if you heard the term, don't give up the ship, that comes from Captain James Lawrence, who was dying and told Perry that. So Perry gathered his men, and on September 13th of 1813, took on the British Navy and kicked some serious booty. Read the description for more details. All right, guys, here we are. 1919 touring car. Look at that baby. Hi, guys. <laughs> Everybody's got to say hi. Miss, 1930. Mrs. There she is. We're on Putin Bay. It's an island where you can explore. In Lake Erie, a couple islands actually. 1930 Chrysler Coop has never left the island. Look at that thing. Like yep, some bicycles. Mm. Oh, yeah, look at that. 1920 Center Model T. Unusual body by Fisher. 1915 Speedster. Look at this little engine. Crosley. That's cool, man. Oh, yeah. Another, there's a flathead. 1926 Model T tractor. Check that out. So it was purchased to take care of the first golf course. That is amazing. All right, what's this, Mrs. Drag Boss? Tell us what it is. It's a 1924 Model T snowmobile. What? Built for the government to deliver mail to Minnesota. Isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, there's the skis. Dad, yes. is that what the seats of back in the older days? Well, yeah, it's a, more of a tractor seat. Look at this little, probably runs on a stand. It's a nice little run stand. V8 engine. Looks like a Ford V8. Ford flat, uh, the V8. Yep. Look at the chains on that. That's amazing. See this. 8BA, baby. Or that little engine. Yeah. This old pull building. Look, look at that collection of cars. Let's get up there. Looks like a 65 vet or 64. Look at the mini engines. All the mini engines. We love that. There's a Ford the Galaxy, it open. looks like. Where do they get all these? Oh, you must have collected them. them. Oh, yeah, there's the engine. Lena wants to show you. Dad, yeah. also has that little head thing, that orange thing right there. The valve cover, yep. Yeah, the valve cover. There's a Cushman, a couple of them. Dad, yeah, we could have moved this around. Yeah, we could have. But this, it's only like probably a couple of Or this old truck, man. This would be killer to have. Yep. Look at it. Here's what they found it. Look at it. Here's what it used to look like. See it? The shell? 1996. Oh, yeah. We're showing you the engine, as Izzy would say. Look at that thing. Beautiful. There it is, baby Ford. Twenty-three Nash. Wow, this guy's got quite a collection. Nineteen thirty Willie's Whippet touring car. Only one of this body style known to exist.
23 Nash factory installed rear seat heater and cigarette lighter on dashboard 1923 baby you want to tell them about it hang on let's let's look at this look at that engine man straight eight maybe six cylinder I don't even know all right what's this car is Yep. There's only about 5,000 made. Only about 5,000 of them. It's been sitting on this island for who knows how long. Taxi. Here's a taxi. 1929 Model A Ford taxi. Only 5,000 made. What's that? Worthington tractor. 1929 Model A tractor built by Worthington Mower Company used to tow mowers mostly at golf courses. Oh look, an old air compressor from Sears. <laughs> we as a family also love to go into the butterfly house. It's home for over a thousand butterflies of many different species. The challenge is trying to get a butterfly to land on your head or your hands. You're supposedly not supposed to touch them, but I think the girls like to walk around and try to get them to land on them. But we have a great time as a family and learning experience, and I've learned a lot on this little mini vacation, as you will soon find out. Say hi, bossettes. There are also several caves to explore that were used for bootlegging back in the day. This is a famous landmark. This is the forecastle of the Benson Ford, something I really never knew much about. But the ship actually was built by Henry Ford, commissioned back in 1924. And this ship hauled all the raw materials to River Rouge factory in Michigan, including coal and iron. It was powered by a 3,000 horsepower, two-stroke, opposed four-cylinder, Sun, Dachshund diesel. It also had luxurious accommodations that Henry Ford would take his family on at times. It was named for Benson Ford Sr. He was also known as Etzel Ford Jr. He was the grandson of Henry Ford. Again, his father was Etzel Ford. He was vice president of Ford Motor Company at one time. The ship was commissioned from 1924 to 1981. Then the forecastle was removed and sold to a man, I think his name was James Sullivan, and later sold to Casper Brothers. They owned local dealerships here in Sandusky. There's the inside. It remains pretty much the same. Maybe there's some different accommodations, but all the woodwork is original. It's amazing. I never knew that this was built by Henry Ford, another piece of Ford history. There's multiple views here. It is quite spectacular. As I always say, you never know what you're going to see or learn on Drag Boss Garage. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode.